Are you tired of FPS drops, stutters, and slow performance while gaming on Windows 10 or 11? In this video, I'll walk you through the ultimate Windows optimization guide for 2025 that pros are using right now to boost FPS, fix stutters, and unlock the full power of your PC. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Step 1. Adjusting Windows Power Throttling Settings To help your computer run at full speed, especially if your PC is low-end or not very strong, you need to turn off something called Power Throttling. To turn off Power Throttling, press Windows plus R on your keyboard. A small box will appear called the Run Box. Type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a program called Local Group Policy Editor, where you can change some deep system settings. On the left side of this program, click through the folders in this order. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates. System. After that, scroll down and click the folder named Power Management. Then look for a setting called Power Throttling Settings and double-click it. A new window will pop up. Inside that, double-click Turn Off Power Throttling and another window will open. Choose the option enabled to turn off power throttling completely. This will make sure your CPU can always use its full power. This setting works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. After selecting Enabled, click Apply, then OK, and close the window. This change will help your computer work faster and better, especially when you play heavy games like Fortnite. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Boost CPU performance by unlocking all processors. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make sure your CPU is always giving full power, we will use a tool called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control, then open the app. Find and choose Bitsum highest performance. This power plan unlocks full CPU speed and keeps it running fast. Now change the following settings. Set CPU Parking AC and CPU Parking DC to Disabled. Set Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency Scaling DC to Disabled set. Minimum CPU and maximum CPU percentages to 100%. Next, turn on a feature called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This smart feature turns off unused CPU cores when you're doing light tasks, like watching videos, and turns them back on when you're gaming or using demanding programs. This saves power but still gives you full performance when needed. Now go to your Windows Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your main power plan. Make sure all CPU settings are still at 100% and parking is fully turned off. Click. Make active, then click apply to save your settings. This makes sure your CPU never goes to sleep and is always ready to give full power, whether you have a low-end or high-end PC. Step 3. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll use a tool called MSI Mode Utility to make your hardware communicate better with your CPU. This makes your system respond faster and run smoother. You will see a list of your computer's hardware devices. Find your main graphics card. This might be NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. When you find it, check the MSI box next to it. Then set the interrupt priority to high so your graphics card gets faster response time from the CPU. If you have integrated graphics like Intel HD or AMD APU, do the same for that. Check the box and set it to high. After you finish, click apply and close the tool. This setting reduces delay between your input and what shows up on screen. It's great for smoother gaming and helps your PC feel faster overall. Step 4. Optimizing System Memory Using ISLC Program You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a program called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, to help your RAM memory work better. Start by opening ISLC after you've downloaded it. At the top of the app, it will show your total memory in MB. You need to divide that number by 2 and enter it into the box called Free Memory is Lower Than. For example, if your total memory is 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. If your memory is 32,000 megabytes, enter 16,000. Next, turn on these two options. Start ISLC Minimized Launch. ISLC on user logon. These settings make sure ISLC starts with your PC automatically. Now go to the right side of the window. Turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Then set the polling rate to 1000 M's if your PC is fast, or 1000 M's if your PC is old or slow. Now click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. This will clear unused RAM and help games like Fortnite run smoother with fewer FPS drops. 
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimizing Windows with Ultimate Windows Tweaker You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We are now going to use Ultimate Windows Tweaker, a powerful tool that helps you make hidden performance changes in Windows. Open the tool and go to the Performance section. Apply all of the available tweaks in that section. These include turning off smooth scrolling, turning off window animations, enabling auto restart after system crashes, disabling edge tab, preloading. These changes reduce the amount of work your system has to do and help it run faster. Now go to the services section in the tool. Here you can disable services that you don't need, such as tablet input service. If you don't use a touchscreen Windows Security Center service, if you have another antivirus prefetch service, which can slow your system over time, turning off prefetch improves how fast your PC responds. Now go to the additional tab and turn on all of the recommended network tweaks. This includes enabling onboard network adapter processor blocking anonymous access, disabling recent shares, turning off default admin disk driver share. Server also hide your PC from the network to stop background network activity. Once all these settings are done, click apply tweaks, then restart your PC so that all the changes take effect. Your PC will now be faster and more responsive in Fortnite and other games. Step six, reduce keyboard input lag using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter now will fix input lag from your keyboard using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. After downloading, open the app. You'll see some settings for how your keyboard behaves. Change the settings as follows. Ignore under. Set to 0 milliseconds, repeat delay. Set to 130 milliseconds, repeat rate. Set to 10 milliseconds. Now check the box on the right to enable the Filter Keys settings. Click OK to save and apply everything. These changes will make your keyboard respond faster during gameplay, especially in fast-paced games like Fortnite. Step 7. Disabling HPET To prevent stuttering and FPS drops, there is a system feature called HPET, High Precision Event Timer, that can sometimes cause stuttering and FPS issues. To turn off HPET, right-click on the Start button and choose Device Manager. In Device Manager, scroll down and open System Devices. Find High Precision Event Timer HPET, in the list. Right-click on HPET and choose Disable. Sometimes HPET causes choppy or laggy performance. Disabling it can make gameplay smoother and reduce FPS drops by removing unwanted timing interruptions. If this guide helped you, please click the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more Fortnite and PC optimization tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.